Alabama State and Tuskegee side by side. Willie Slater made the trip to enemy territory to meet with the media and talk about a game he's glad to have back on the schedule. I lived in a hometown of uh, Alabama State and Tuskegee fans, so I've been hearing it all my life. So I guess that's what makes it great. I mean, those fans, those fans just absolutely love those team teams playing. And this game may mean more than it ever has. The excitement could parlay, see what I did there, into a $1 million gate. Like, for real, for real. Last year, we were about at 600. I'm hoping that we can get the million dollar gate. So everyone get your tickets, help me hit my goal. So don't be last minute with this one, you could be left out. Oh, we have exceeded our uh, single game ticket sales for Tuskegee by about $50,000 from compared to last year. Last year we had a lot of walk-ups and we end up getting to capacity. Coach Ely would love to open up with a D2 tune-up game like some programs do, but he knows this is closer to the Super Bowl. Right out the blocks. Right out the blocks. We would love to be able to get a team in and fine-tune, but that's not the case, so we got to be prepared. And... Uh, and uh, to have a game with such uh, as much weight as this game right off the bat, uh, you know, this game either uh, makes or breaks a lot of seasons if you don't handle it right. And despite the litany of activities surrounding this game, each team is focused on the one thing that matters the most. Saturday night, Montgomery between the lines. Those events are not for us. <laughs> Our job is to play. This is like having homecoming right out the block. So you got uh, six, seven days of events way before you get to the game. So you have to have a disciplined team that they don't partake in the events. And now you, you know, they're too tired to perform on Saturdays.